All right, I think we're good to go here today, and welcome to Thursday. Uh, today is July the 6th, and good to be on with you this morning. Sorry we're a little bit later than uh, than normal. I uh, had to get some things around here after uh, after last night, get it all put together, and so it took me a little bit longer. Uh, but I apologize for that, but good to be on with you uh, this morning, just a little bit later than normal. Uh, we had a good night last night studying the Word of God, looking at the deity of Jesus Christ, the fact that Jesus is God, uh, and that's so important as we consider our biblical worldview, uh, and I hope that it was a challenge and a blessing to you. We're going to get to 1 Corinthians chapter number 12, so if you'd care to join me there, would love to have you join me in your copy of the scriptures. So 1 Corinthians chapter uh, number 12, here, join me please uh, with that. Let me uh, kind of tell you about uh, uh, what's coming up here at the church. Don't forget that services on Sunday. Uh, Sunday night, we have a singing group that's going to be with us uh, from Crown College, uh, and they will be a blessing to you. And so I would encourage you, uh, come on out 6 o'clock uh, uh, on uh, Sunday night, uh, and that'll be a tremendous time in the Lord's house. It'll be a, uh, just it'll be an encouragement to to see young people and hear some young people singing as well. Okay, uh, now let's look at First Corinthians chapter number twelve uh, and verse number twelve. So in First Corinthians twelve twelve, uh, join me there, please. So the Bible says, "For as for as the body is one." And hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. And just as in our physical body, we've got different parts that work together. Uh, we're all part, they're all part of one body, uh, working to, uh, together to accomplish that which uh, uh, the mind kind of sets forth there, forth there. So also is the body of Christ. Uh, we see here in verse number 12. Uh, we're all uniquely gifted, uh, uniquely brought together by God, coming from from unique circumstances, experiencing uniqueness in life, uh, and we're all part of the body of Christ. We all come together to work together uh, to serve the Lord and accomplish His will uh, in our community. And that's why I want to encourage you to wherever you're watching this from to get to be a part of a church body, make that your church family serve together in that uh, in that body and um, allow God to use you because you are designed to be a part of a church family, a church body. You've been uniquely gifted for that. And so, hey, let's do it. If you haven't uh, gotten, uh, haven't become a part of a church body, you need to do it. Uh, you will not regret it, I promise you. Uh, and so, so also is Christ. Now, verse number 13, for by one spirit, we're all baptized into one body. We're all identified, all become a part of that one body because we're all filled with the Spirit. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, once again, uh, I'm sorry, let's continue. Whether we be bond or free and have uh, been all made to drink into one Spirit. So it doesn't matter your background, okay? Who you uh, who you are, male or female, it doesn't matter your color, it doesn't matter uh, where you come from, we are designed to be a part of this body of Christ. We've been baptized into the body of Christ because we have the the Holy Spirit indwelling us. He's uniquely gifted us to serve. For the body is not one 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 number. Or <laughs> it helps helps me be able to read. For the body is not one member, but many. Okay, the body is not one member, but many. Now think about that. Uh, and, and thankfully, this is not the case here at Calvary Baptist Church, but there are many uh, who, as they consider even uh, the church, they say, well, we hired the pastor to do all of that. That's his job. Uh, uh, and uh, the pastor is the pastor. He's there to lead. He's there to guide, uh, direct, and he will give an account of his leadership. He'll give an account of that leadership to the Lord someday. Uh, but it requires a church family to accomplish a task. It take, for example, uh, this past Tuesday we were a part of the parade here in town, uh, and it took many people to get the job done uh, the way it needed to be done. It took people uh, setting up. It took people driving a tractor, being up on top of a tower, squirting people with squirt guns. It took. 
that took uh, uh, the young people getting out and passing out gospel tracts to everybody along the parade route. It took people holding flags and uh, waving to people to uh, to break down the barriers, if you would, and 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 all of that. And you know, it just took a, it took a team. Uh, and when, if we're going to accomplish anything for the glory of the Lord, it takes a team to do it. Uh, and so I want to encourage you, wherever you're watching from, get involved. Just don't be a pew filler. Uh, just don't be a Sunday morning person. Get involved in the ministry. Uh, for for the body is not one member, but many members working together. Verse 15, the foot shall say, because I'm not the hand, I'm not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear uh, shall say, because I'm not the eye, I'm not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? Is the whole body, if the whole body were an eye, uh, where were they hearing? If the whole body were hearing, where were they smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him. So you see, uh, it is God that hath designed us. It's God that has given us the talent, the ability to fill the role uh, of the body. If we were all one part, it would be pretty awkward. If we were all the eye, it would be very awkward, okay? Uh, and so God has uniquely gift, gifted all of us as it hath pleased him, okay? Uh, now, let me say this. We're uniquely gifted and talented by God to fulfill his purpose in the church. But I will say this. There is no... Um, substitute for uh, faithfulness, okay? We're all uniquely gifted, and we might say, well, I can't do that, I can't do that, I'm not gifted that way, You and you might not be, but you can be faithful, okay? What does, it, what does everybody have the same amount of every day? That's time, okay? And so we can all be faithful uh, to when the church doors are open. We can all be involved in, in the ministry, and we may not be able to do some things because of our skill level, our comfort level, uh, maybe even because of our past, we can't do some things. We've disqualified ourselves from things, and, and that happens. Uh, but we need to uh, step out and become a part of this thing that, that God has instituted, that God has designed you for, and he hath gifted you for as it hath pleased him. Uh, and uh, faithfulness aside, uh, you've been gifted by God for a task. Uh, verse number 19. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head of the feet, I have no need of thee. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. You think about it, every part of your body is necessary. Uh, and, and sometimes, um, I don't think we, we think this about our physical body, uh, but maybe in regards to a church body, you say, well, I'm not needed. Well, it's no big deal if I'm not there. You know what? They'll find somebody else. Uh, no, don't have that attitude. Don't have that spirit. Uh, it takes everybody. You know, we had vacation Bible school about a month ago now. Well, several, three weeks ago or so. Uh, and you know what? It took a lot of different people in different capacities serving the Lord to make the week go, okay? It took people setting up and cleaning up each night. It took the, the kitchen staff preparing food each night. Uh, it took people just being there, helping corral young people each night. It took somebody registering. It took, you know, it, and the list goes on, okay? Uh, and so... Uh, don't say they'll find somebody else. Don't have that spirit and attitude, but rather say, you know what? Hey, this is an opportunity for me to get involved. I don't know where I can serve, but I'm going to. Uh, and so uh, be sure and do so. Uh, verse number 23, and those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need. Uh, but God hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, uh, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. Oh, you see that? It doesn't matter what our role is in the church. Hey, we're to have the same care for everybody. We're to treat everybody with the same honor and the same respect, no matter what skill set they bring to the table, uh, no matter what they what they look all that kind of stuff you fill the blank what they look like you know all that kind of stuff man we are to, to 
to care for everybody. And that's a challenge for us because sometimes I think as human beings, we can be very mean uh, to one another. and We can look down on one, one another and that not ought so to be the case. And then verse number 26, and whether one member suffer, all the members suffer uh, with it, or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. And so we, we know the scriptures teach we're to rejoice with them that rejoice. Uh, weep with them that weep, and the list goes on there as we know in the scriptures. And so, as one body, let's seek to be a blessing. Let's seek to be an encouragement. Let's seek to work together. And maybe maybe you're watching and listening to this. You say, man, I have not been involved the way that I need to be involved. Well, guess what? You need, you need to go to your pastor and say, hey, what can I do? Hey, is there anything I can do? Hey, here's what my passion is. Here's what my desires are. Here's where I, I work well. Hey, what can I do? And you need to do that because uh, you know what? Your pastor can't read minds. Your pastor doesn't know your schedule. Your pastor doesn't know all of your heartaches, all of your difficulties, all of your problems. But you know what? Uh, you got to know this, that your pastor is going through it as well. And your pastor... And I, I'm not necessarily speaking this from, from experience, but your pastor's under a lot of pressure uh, to uh, in the ministry there, and you can come alongside your pastor and help out by by doing some, what we, th what we think, oh, it's just something little. No, it's big. Uh, and you can come alongside and help out in a lot of different ways by just being faithful and doing what you can to be a blessing to the church. And I want to encourage you, hey, go to your pastor and say, hey, what can I do? How can I help? Here's where I am gifted. Uh, here's what uh, some people do. Say, hey, hey, I want to, I want to help out. I want to get involved in the ministry. And they leave it at that. Uh, and, and, and it's good to have that desire to be involved and want to help out. But share with your pastor, share with leadership the areas in which you believe you are qualified to help out, the areas in which you think, hey, I can be a blessing here, okay? Uh, and then let me qualify, qualify this with one more thought here, okay? Your pastor might not put you in the position that you desire, okay? Don't get upset, okay? Remember, your pastor will answer to the Lord for his leadership in the ministry, and so he, he may put you in this position, in a position where you can succeed, and you, you may grow into something else over time, but you need to allow, allow the pastor to see you to see you work and all that kind of stuff and see how you handle things before he gives you more responsibility, okay? Uh, and uh, that's, that's what we do in every stage of life, in every place that you've been employed at. They don't just make you the boss, okay? Uh, typically, you work your way up to that, all right? Hopefully, some of that has made sense for you. Hey, get involved. Be a part of the ministry. I would encourage you along those lines, all right? Uh, once again, thank you for for joining us today. I know we're a little bit later, uh, but I appreciate uh, your faithfulness and watching. Uh, let's be a blessing to others today. And, and wherever you're watching from, get involved in your local church. Cliff and Karen, good morning to you. Thank you for being on. Ingrid, good morning to you. Uh, love you and have a great day. Brian and Cindy, good morning to you both. Uh, good morning, Bill. Uh, good morning, Charlie and Marsha. Uh, and thank you so much for that encouragement, Cliff and Karen. Uh, I'm looking forward to next Wednesday as well. We encourage all of our church family uh, that is following along with our curriculum this summer. Be sure and do uh, your daily uh, challenges as well in that curriculum. Okay, have a great day, everybody. We'll be back at it again Friday for our Power Up. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the rain that uh, that we've had and then the sunshine this afternoon. We'll, we'll chat at you our next time together.